Hey guys, it's Sean Simpson. We're here at Imola. Thanks for asking me the questions yesterday. Let's get going. 2019 at the moment is looking good. Um, can't really say too much with regard to which team I'll be riding for, but I'll definitely be back doing the British Championship, full Grand Prix, and yeah, really excited about how things are looking for 2019. News coming soon. I think my favourite motocross track would have to be Unadilla in America. I think it was a really cool circuit. Um, really enjoyed it when I went over there for the AMA National a couple of years ago. Uh, just deep, loamy dirt, nice flowing jumps, uh, a lot of speed but technical at the same time. I was nine years old when I done my first race and I'd been really wanting to do a race for a long time so I was really excited. Um, I actually crashed on the second lap, went right over the handlebars and broke all my peak. <laughs> so um, yeah, I felt like a bit of an idiot but uh, after I got over that, I felt amazing and I just wanted to keep doing it every weekend. Uh, wearing a Liat brace is simple for me and the, the new Liat brace is so comfortable, it fits so well, I hardly even know I'm wearing it. And just the pure and utter uh, reason of safety. I think that's one of the things these days that you can't really take away from, from what we do. It's a dangerous sport and you have to make sure you're safe out there. I think everyone's proud of where they're from. Um, being from Scotland, uh, it's pretty cool, nice tracks, nice people, but I had to move away from there when I was 16 to, to you know, f follow my dream. And uh, yeah, I think that's the main thing that, that just keeps bringing me back there after the season. I haven't been there that often. I just want to get back, see my family and my friends and just hang out. My funniest golf memory has to be when Max Anstey teed up at the first at our local course in Belgium. He uh, put a lot of thought into it, a couple of practice swings with his driver, swung for the ball, skiffed it, hit the ball at a 90 degree angle to where he wanted to go. It went through our golf cart and just missed the Asian guy who was on the putting green. <laughs> My favorite and best track that I've raced in Scotland has to be a track up north of Inverness called Tain. It's a bit of a nightmare to get to. It's three hours out of the way for anyone in Scotland. Um, if you're coming from England, it's probably nine hours plus, but when you get there, it's definitely worth the drive and uh, deep sand, big rolling waves, really enjoy it. And I think that's you know why I, why I enjoy the sand so much is from uh, growing up and in, in doing laps at Tain. No, definitely not. You know, at the end of the day, we had a lot of good years together and I, I really, really enjoyed those times um, when my dad and my brother were mechanicing for me. But you know, at the end of the day, I've still got to sit on the bike and do the job. And you know, it can be tougher at times, you know, speaking to mechanics and the team to get things just how I want it, but you know, I'm uh, confident enough in my own ability and I think I still have the want, determination and motivation to get it done. That one's quite an easy one. It has to be my first GP win at Leroy back in 2013. I think uh, looking back at it, you know, not many people get to say that they won a GP and I think for me, uh, managing to win four now has been a great achievement in my career and uh, that one sticks out the most. So crossing the finish line, second moto at Leroy, seeing a GP win on the pit board was definitely a highlight. Yeah, I've definitely um, thought about it. Uh, it's something that I'd really like to do, um, but at the end of the day, I feel like I've put a lot of time and effort into the MXGP series. I still feel like I've got uh, goals here that I haven't achieved, and uh, I'm putting my focus into that at the moment, but never say never. But anyway, guys, I better go and hit the track, so let's see you later, and uh, let's get some action in.